Pakistan Tariq Insaf, the party of former Prime Minister Imran Khan, illegally incarcerated now for 261 days, slammed the brazen rigging in Sunday's by-elections. Party Chairman Barrister Ghor Ali Khan and Secretary General Umar Ayyub, addressing a press conference, said, quote, This was naked rigging. Precious taxpayer funds were wasted on this entire exercise, unquote. On Sunday, Election Commission officials, the Punjab police and the entire Punjab government was used against PTI's candidates, including ballot box stuffing. Additionally, Secretary General Umar Ayyub condemned the political interference by Pakistan's military and called on the head of the intelligence to apologize for political interference and threatening judges. The Islamabad High Court on Monday remarked that keeping Busha Bibi, Imran Khan's wife, in solitary confinement was tantamount to torture. Justice Mia Gul Hassan Aurangzeb gave these remarks while hearing the petition of the former First Lady pertaining to Pakistan's authoritarian government keeping her isolated in a room instead of the Ajala jail. The judge adjourned the case for one week while asking state prosecutors to respond to the questions posed. Meanwhile, Imran Khan's cipher case appeal was adjourned for tomorrow as state prosecutors are struggling to provide any crime committed by Mr. Imran Khan, the leader of Pakistan's largest federal democratic party. Imran Khan's PTI-led Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government has said that Afghan citizens residing legally in the country should not be harassed or deported. Quote, this might further strain ties between Pakistan and Afghanistan, unquote, warned barrister Mohammad Ali Saif, the provincial government's spokesperson. Saif cautioned that any action against Afghans living legally in the country would create, quote, hatred, misunderstanding and mistrust, unquote, between Pakistan and Afghanistan. He advised the federal government to deal with with this situation in a sensitive manner. Imran Khan, even from his jail cell in December last year, condemned the treatment of Afghans by Pakistan's powerful military-led state security and administrative apparatus. A diplomat of a foreign embassy is missing and reported to have been abducted, according to the Express Tribune, a Pakistani English-language daily newspaper. Social media users on Twitter claim that the foreign national is a diplomat and a Saudi Arabian national, a close ally of Pakistan. Pakistan's security situation continues to worsen as foreign nationals are being targeted. Last month, five Chinese engineers were killed in an attack, while Japanese nationals were also targeted last week in Karachi, considered to be intelligence failures by analysts. Protests at Columbia University over Israel's genocide of the Palestinians continued for the sixth day as Columbia University President Minos Shafiq announced classes will be remote Monday. Hundreds of peaceful protesters began occupying the campus on Wednesday to demand that the university divest from Israel as the school sent in the NYPD to arrest them. The occupation organized by the Columbia University Apartheid Divest Coalition CUAD, Students for Justice in Palestine, SJP and Jewish Voice for Peace JVP, had been planned for months. The peaceful occupation of the campus began the same day Columbia President Minos Shafiq testified at an anti-Semitism probe by the U.S. House Committee on Education and the Workforce. The Biden administration has termed the protests as, quote, blatant anti-Semitism, unquote. 